Morning everyone, my name is Joey Babington and I'm the Shared Lives Manager for McIntyre in Central Bedfordshire and with me is... Hi, morning, I'm Terry, I'm the Shared Lives Officer at Central Bedfordshire working with Joe. And we both manage the carers that uh, work in our scheme supporting vulnerable adults in their own home. So what Shared Lives is, um, it's essentially sharing your life with a vulnerable adult in your own home, which is pretty much exactly what it says as this slide shows. Um, the carers support vulnerable adults either on a full-time basis or for short breaks and that can be for a weekend or uh, a week at a time. It really does depend on what the person needs and what the carers can provide. Um, so as this slide says, based on the theory of a spare room in your home and some spare room in your heart, it is an alternative care provision where we support, at the minute we support 16 people uh, through various arrangements and they're all 18 years or over. So McIntyre have been managing the scheme on behalf of Central Beds Council for nearly three years and we've grown the scheme to now, like I said in the last slide, support 16 people. Um, it's quite similar to, as, it, as a shared life carer, it's quite similar to what the role of a foster carer is, but this in our scheme is for vulnerable adults that are 18 years and above. So as a shared lives carer, you'd be paid by the council to support the person, uh, again, either on a full-time basis or for short breaks. Um, the, the, the person also contributes to the household, depending on how long they're with you. And it can fit around other jobs, so plenty of our carers work on a full-time basis as well. So it really can be as flexible as, as you can. Um, our role in this, we support and train the carers which, uh, which are involved in the scheme. Everyone goes through a assessment process to, or an assessment process, sorry, to get themselves onto the scheme, which includes a DBS check and other drivers checks and, and so on. Um, once the person gets through panel, then we try and match them up with a vulnerable adult. So we then get referrals from local authorities, <coughs> excuse me, and we then match them up according to hobbies, needs, and how we think best can be supported. And then once people are matched up, then we supervise them regularly and review things and see how we can move forward and improve them. Um, why does it work? So the benefits are brilliant. Um, so Richard, one of our shared lives carers, has highlighted that not only do the people we support benefit, but also the carers as well. So quite a few of our carers do it for for the right reasons and then they come they benefit from companionship or doing something a bit different getting a bit of get up and go from the people they support and um it, it's really a, a two-way relationship which is great um so our question really is have you got room in your home in your heart so the three ladies here they live to, they live together uh with the same shared life carers and um if you have a chance then there's a video link at the end of this presentation for you to have a look at their story um, so yeah thank you very much if you wanted to get in touch with us at all then both our email addresses and phone number are there just for a little bit of extra information we'd love to hear from you okay thank you very much